and welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. Today we have got the first leg of the Europa League semi-final against West Ham in Lincoln and then we've got Southampton in the Premier League coming up for you. Since you were last here we've played three games. Uh, bottom of the table Brighton were first, we beat them 3-1, fairly comfortably with a very very rotated side. Carlos Alvelas starting his first game in months after he's had a really tough injury uh, but started his first game and got a goal so a very good game for him. After that we played Tottenham. Uh, as you can see here, Moise Keane, two goals within the first half hour or so, was enough for them to seal the victory. Hammer time scored late on, but unfortunately, we couldn't get ourselves back in the game. So, lose to third place Tottenham, that was, uh, which is a bit of a blow for us, considering we had games in hand, and that was one of them. So, we're really going to have to go into overload now if we want to try and, you know, get a secure place, basically, for Europe League next season. We do have a route into the Europa League next season, though, after the Everton 3-1 in the FA Cup semi-final. This is the first time we've come against a side, actually, that properly put in a decent lineup. I think West Ham might have done as well actually in the sixth round. But usually when we come against teams, uh, we actually had a fairly easy run this year to be fair. Newport County, QPR, Leeds, West Ham and Everton. Not the hardest one, but when we come against some harder teams, uh, like in previous seasons like Tottenham's or uh, Chelsea's or things like that, they don't usually seem to field a strong lineup when we have played them before. So we seem to just win because no one really cares about it. They want to rotate players, whereas we don't. So that's kind of why we've done well in recent years, but this year has been a relatively easy run in comparison. It means that we face Tottenham in the final, a repeat of last year's League Cup final. So whoever wins that will get straight into the group stages of the Europa League, which would be quite nice, of course. And of course, if Tottenham win it and they finish in the Champions League place, whoever comes seventh in the league gets um, a Europa League spot, which looks like it could be us. We're sticking with the ever-faithful tactic today, the 4-2-3-1, with a very, very familiar lineup. Uh, I think you can basically guess what kind of happens now when these lineups lineups. Uh, Reynolds keeps himself in goal for now. Now, where is he? He's, he's down here somewhere. Barish Urza has just come back from his injury that he suffered in the last episode, but Reynolds is not too bad recently, so we're going to keep Reynolds in for now. Uh, Masovic, Patino, Benteke and Bardi start in front of him. Uh, Ferrer has just got back from injury, so he will start sooner rather than later, but he's not obviously ready yet. Uh, Jalapeno Mertens in that central midfield. Gomez, Diaz and Despacito in that attacking midfield trio. And Hammer Time, of course, starting up front for us today. How many goals has he got now? 45. So when he scored the one um, since you were last here, which actually is probably out of sorts for him. Kickoff is upon us then. West Ham kicking off today's game, and this is huge. Two legs away from being in a Europa League final against either Roma or Lazio, which is huge, huge, huge stuff. I'd love to see us play Roma again, of course, because we drew with them once in the group stage, but then beat them 5 0. So that kind of suggests to me that perhaps we could do that again against Roma. I'd be confident going into it, but I can just see it being poetic justice for us to lose 5 0 to them or something like that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. That is the final. We've still got a semi final and two legs to play first. And of course, we can't just think that we're going to get to the final. We have to dispatch of West Ham. In the Battle of Lincoln, I'm dubbing this basically. It's going to be a huge game. Hopefully, a massive battle is hammer time. Five minutes into the game, six minutes basically, puts his 1 0 up. Gorgeous. What a gorgeous man. He's there for the big games. I absolutely love him. Another chance now, actually, not too long afterwards. Gomez puts the ball into hammer time and Butland forced to make a decent save this time. But we're starting to show early pressure. We've had four shots of their zero shots from his opening 10 minutes, which is what I like to see. Of course, in the, uh, the last episode against Chelsea, we're, we're much more quiet in that first leg. Um, we didn't really do much until we scored loads of goals in like the 80th minute or so. But hammer time with a chance now. Puts it back to Despacito. 10 minutes. It's 2-0 Lincoln. Dream start. Dream start. Calling out for West Ham, their first attack of the game, basically, but it's been cleared away in Jalapeno now. Clears it up towards Diaz. Diaz, who has been such an incredible player for us this season, despite him not really being the best player. I think he's only really um, a championship player at best, according to like coaches and things like that. But his stats and the way he's played this season, he, he should be a world-class player the way he's played this season. So it's very weird with Diaz. I still feel like we need to get someone better in than a two-and-a-half-star player in that position if we want to improve next season and, and fight our way for the Champions League and stuff like that but he's had a phenomenal season and it's I just it's difficult in a way because I want to I feel like I have to replace him for someone better but at the same time if he's playing incredibly well why why replace him what's the need to first highlight of the second half then looks like it's going towards uh, West Ham but I'm not quite sure what that kind of free kick was and now we can come on the counter attack now Hammer time with so many men to beat but he's done it time and time again his shot though not the best obviously West Ham have it basically all to do in this second half they're, they're a decent side they're in the top half of the Premier League at one point they were chasing us down for uh, Europa League places and things like that but they sort of dropped off the pace in the past few weeks I mean, kind of almost like we have in a way we were right up there with Champions League stuff and then we lost a few games and it's not quite been the same since a very risky back pass there to uh, Jack Butland and goal with Despacito puts a crossing cleared again once by uh, by West Ham but unfortunately it looks like they're actually going to come forward now Reese Nelson 
coming forward with his ball. Can he get his cross into his, his men? Puts it in. Reynolds, though, with a huge save. I reckon one more goal in this game for us. Make it 3-0. I'd, I'd like to say it would kill West Ham off. I'd like to say they wouldn't be able to score three goals in the next game. But, of course, we're going to their place. They're at home. A different kind of story, basically. Now, I'd like to make changes. and I'd like to bring someone on for Diaz. He's had a, a very rare, poor game on a 6.4. But uh, Aravelos is not on the bench. Um, I feel like Jalapeno can possibly play there a little bit. He kind of can. Uh, so, we'll bring Crazy Eyes on for Diaz in that central midfield role. Uh, who else do I want to change around? I'd like to sort of change Masovic, actually. So, Budshok uh, will come on for him. I'm probably saying, I think I said that wrong. Budshok. Is it Bukholk? Or, I mean, I've not a clue. He's, he's Polish, so if you know a, a Polish pronunciation of that, please do let me know. I think there are two changes that we'll make, though, for now. Um, and probably the only two changes we'll make for the game, actually, as we start to come towards the the final bits of it now. West Ham still trying to come forward, actually. They sort of had a bit of momentum in, in a few last highlights, but we've, they've just given the ball away to us now, and now Jalapeno through to Mertens. We're trying to sort of build something, work the space quite nicely. Jalapeno gets a great ball through to Hammer Time. He tries to chip the goalkeeper, but... Unfortunately, couldn't quite get it on target. Still goalless in the Roma Lazio game. Um, obviously, that's a huge game because that's obviously Rome versus Rome. The both both teams are in Rome, aren't they? So that's absolutely huge. Those fans are going to be going crazy, I reckon. Um, but fortunately for us in our game, it looks like we're taking control of the first leg in the Battle of Lincoln, which is brilliant. There was a real life Battle of Lincoln actually, um, a long a long time ago. Uh, Jalapeno hits the inside of the poster. That was close. The real life Battle of Lincoln. I feel like it was in the twelve hundreds, um, and it was something like. I mean, I can't really sort of fought over, but I remember at one point in Lincoln, there's a, a castle and a cathedral, and they're literally like 100 metres from each other. And there was one faction based in the castle and one faction based in the cathedral. And um, I think that's what the real battle of Lincoln was. But again, I don't know too much about it. I probably should, because I do history at Union. I'm from Lincoln, and I love Lincoln. So I feel like I could probably research that a bit more. But that was, I mean, that was the gist of things that happened in the real-life battle of Lincoln. There was a battle between two people. Some people had the castle, some people had the cathedral. And I don't know why I have to explain that again. And there we go. Lincoln to West Ham nil. We're in the driving seat in this semi-final. Of course, the second leg will come to you tomorrow. We've got to switch our attention out to Southampton game, which is going to be huge in the grand scheme of the league. But, you know, we're really putting ourselves in a great position here. All right, I need to rest the players then before the next game. Because we've only got a few days off before Southampton game. I'll show you the league table in a few moments, I think, once all the games are played. Um, because obviously games are play on Saturday as well. So before we start that game, though, I will show you the table to sort of show you where we're sitting and what we kind of need to do to try and secure actual European place and things like that. So Saturday's games have been played now, and we can sort of look at the league table um, and give you a bit more context as to what is going on right now. So we're on 33 games we've played, but some teams play 36, which is weird. So as you can see, we're five points behind Southampton. If we beat them today, we go to 60 points, they stay on 62, and then we've still got a game in hand. So we could go ahead of them by a point and be on 63 points. Uh, and that then gives us two more games of hand, actually. So potentially, with those two games in hand, we could catch up Liverpool and Man City. Of course, we have to play Liverpool soon as well. So there's a chance for us still to get Champions League football, but it does sort of rely on us winning every single league game from, from here on out now, which isn't impossible. The tough games are going to be Southampton and Liverpool, of course, in the last game of the season. Um, but it's, there's still potential, still potential. Of course, though, if we don't beat Southampton today and things like that, then we can probably kiss goodbye to a, a top four finish or even a top six finish. I think we'd be lucky to get top seven at this kind of rate if we, we still lose a few more games. Right, Ferrer is going to come back on the pitch for Bardi today as well. I think Barish Urza deserves a little run out as well instead of Nicky Reynolds, which could be risky actually saying that. But other than that, we're going to keep the team the exact same. Uh, we'll make more switches for the Stoke game, the game after this. But this is quite an important game. So we're going to have to be at our best and we have to use our best players, basically. So fingers crossed we get the win today against Southampton because if we do, it will be huge. So kickoff is upon us. We're kicking off today. And obviously, as I've said, huge game this one. Are we the only game going on right now? I feel like we are the only game going on right now. I think there's maybe one or two later on in the day as well. But obviously, it's it's huge. It's just huge. The end of this season is so exciting in terms of we've managed to get to an FA Cup final. We're halfway there to a Europa League final as well. And there's still potential for us to finish top four. This could be an incredible season for us. A Swansea through Roshan Williams, who we sold to them for £25 million last year, I believe, has uh, given Southampton the league, gifted it to him. I don't think he's played that much for them, actually. I feel like he rarely starts for them. I want to double-check this, though. Um... I mean, to be fair, he started 15 games, so he's more of a rotation player, to be fair. £25 million on a rotation player, that seems silly. 
corner comes in for Southampton once again, but it's clear, but goes straight back to the corner taker. He puts it out to their their, their man, Rodber, and uh, it's gone back in. It's 2-0. This, ooh, okay. If we want to top four, we sort of said we'd have to beat Southampton today. But it's, it's not happening. Why did I take Nicky Reynolds out of goal? He's been brilliant the past few games. Why did I have to take him out? Stupid mistake, Tom. Stupid mistake. Diaz can't get a shot on target. If he had, it would have been a slight consolation, but we're playing poorly. Complete opposite to how we were last game when we controlled it from start to finish in the Battle of Lincoln, but this Battle of Lincoln against Southampton is a slaughtering for, for, for them or for us. For them. They're slaughtering us. Is that slaughter for them then or a slaughter for us? I'm not quite sure my terminology. They're a slaughterers with a slaughterese. I don't know if that clears things up or not, but I don't know. There's a chance though for it looks like Southampton now actually towards the end of his heart. If they get a third before half time, that's game over, I'm telling you now. And it looks like they're gonna do it as the cross comes in. Benteke clears, but only as far as Saar puts it back to his man in the middle. And it is 3-0 Southampton. Alright, well, aggressively, much better showing from the second half. We're gonna change tactics. We're gonna go to this. We won't use it too much, we're gonna use it. Hammer time stays on, Jimenez is gonna come on. Um, we're going to have to take the wingers off, obviously, because they've played rubbish. Gomez is off for, for Jimenez. Diaz can stay on. And then um, Pandolfi can come on for Despacito in the middle there. See if this makes a bit of a change in the second half. If we score four goals now, I'm a tactical genius. If we don't, then I do apologise to everyone who's watching. All right, Diaz on the ball then for us. We try and launch a bit of attack. Plays a great ball through to Jimenez. And Jimenez, who hasn't started many games recently, misses it. Should have done a lot better in front of the goalkeeper there. Stat-wise... I don't understand why they're throwing it up, because stat-wise, it's very even. Then we look at possession. We're miles ahead of possession and things like that. We've just been very, very poor and wasteful, I think, with our chances. Uh, we've still got a chance to come forward, though, as Hammer Time collects this ball now. Runs it out of play. Brilliant. Well, another highlight for Southampton now is they've got just a man over on this side who's absolutely unmarked. Can someone mark him, please? Luckily, the ball can get to him, which is quite nice. And now Mertens plays it back to, to Barish, who... Makes a bit of a poor clearance, really. Goes straight to Rashawn Williams there, which isn't the best. And they've still got a chance now to come forward, though. Ferreira makes a decent challenge. And now Hammer Time comes forward with the ball. Can he beat his men? He does, but his, his shot was awful. I mean, I just don't understand what's gone wrong in this game. Like, why are we so poor? Why has it all just collapsed today? This is the worst performance I've seen us put in for a long time. And it's literally... 80%, 90% the same team as it was last game when we thumped West Ham United. Diaz gets a consolation goal for us now. Hopefully it's the first of many to come as he runs back to the semicircle with the ball in hands. Hopefully now we can really start to push on. We're going to move up to, to overload. Let's just do it. Fluid as well. Um, I'm going to go demand more as well. See if that makes a change. I mean, who's not played well? How many times not played two? Well, no, no one's played well. I don't know why I'm saying who hasn't played well. Masovic looking tired though, so Bacholk is going to come on for him. Hopefully that's a burst of energy down that left-hand side and we score goals and like a hat-trick of assists from Bacholk. Um, but it's not looking likely right now as Southampton coming forward through Pazella now. Pazella trying to come forward, puts it in towards Barish and he's, what has he done? What has, it went out for a corner, that's all right. He, I thought he literally just palmed it in front of the Southampton player and I thought the Southampton player should have tapped it in but he seems to not bother with it. But it turns out it was out of play. All right, another highlight for us now. Pandolfi to Diaz, and Diaz through to Hammer Time very cleverly now as we try and race forward with numbers. Jimenez, tackle, but Diaz with an absolute pile driver from the edge of the area gives us hope. Come on, boys, there's 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes. I'd, I'd, a draw. A draw I'll be happy with, but a win I'll be happier with, obviously. The momentum is with us. The momentum is with us. I'm going to say push forward as well for these final 10 minutes or so. Uh, their goal kick, not the best as Patino wins it, but he's given the possession... Straight away back to uh, Southampton now, and they're trying to come forward with it. Sakwa, who scored earlier on, plenty of space, puts a cross in. Sar is there, but Barish Urza makes a decent save this time, and that's the highlight. Come on, let's get more highlights for us. Oh, it's not happening, is it? It's 85 minutes now, and it's not happening. Um, oh, I've got to do something, haven't I, really? Right, uh, team instructions. We've got a much higher tempo, take more risks, um, be more expressive. That's what we'll do. That is what we'll do for now. Confirm those changes. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, but it, it's given them a bit more creative license. They're allowed to do a bit more on the ball now and things like that. Guarantee you now there's going to be no more highlights and no more goals. If anything, there's a goal for Southampton. I can predict it coming now. As we enter the 90th minute, unfortunately, 
or Leicester's corner, something happens here, it's cleared away, but only as far as Jalapeno. Jalapeno back to Mertens, who's played it back to Jalapeno, and we've sort of messed up the ball there. <sighs> That's not the best move from us, that really. We sort of just, I don't know what we did with it, really, and now the ball's cleared. And there we go. The, the play carries on, but we're past the allotted time now. I'm just waiting for the referee to blow his whistle now. Sesson Yong into the corner flag, and there we actually go. Lincoln 2, Southampton 3. I mean, I mean that second half was a much better improvement, but that first half should never have happened. We should never have conceded three goals in that first half. I'm disappointed with the boys, really. And I think, if anything, that does rule out any sort of automatic Champions League qualification from the Premier League. So, if we want it, we're going to have to try and rely on the Europa League and stuff like that. But luckily for us, we are on the driving seat for that to get into the final, which is amazing so of course next episode then west ham and crystal palace coming up for you and that is going to be pff, amazingly huge I, I can't wait for that a chance to get into the europa league final in our first time of asking that's incredible so join me next time for that if you've enjoyed today's episode then make sure you do drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i will see you next time for some more lincoln loco action